The ice cream maker is arguably the worst exercise for getting a stronger front lever. Unfortunately, ice cream makers are often promoted in the calisthenics and gymnastics communities. This suboptimal exercise is a major distraction from what actually matters. This video is going to show a smarter way to progress with straight arm strength. You're going to improve so much faster and make much better use of your precious training time and energy. Also, today, you're going to learn what really matters for building a big, strong back to support your calisthenics front lever journey. Previously on Fitness FAQs, I've recommended the ice cream maker as a useful front lever accessory. I was wrong, here's why. Combining bent and straight arm strength with the ice cream maker exercise is very inefficient. Doing so creates a fatigued state, especially for the prime movers of the back and scapula stabilizers. The outcome is a situation where the potency of the stimulus is lacking for both the bent and straight arm components. Basically, you get fatigued combining both and you don't sufficiently stress either for optimal real world gains. When lowering into the front lever, most people simply just flop into the position or they just use momentum. As a result, this is not going to really produce quality in the front lever position, not much time under tension, and it's not going to result in substantial front lever gains. Honestly, the ice cream maker is an exercise which pretty much makes you better at ice cream makers. Save the ice cream maker for a front lever maintenance phase or include it sporadically with the goal of a novel training stimulus. Now that we understand the limitations of the ice cream maker, let's talk about real straight arm training. Beginners, I want you to start in a tuck body position. As you become more advanced, increase difficulty by lengthening the lever to make it more challenging. Simply apply that concept to all of the exercises in the rest of the video. If you want to train the front lever dynamically for reps, the front lever pull is superior in every single way. Start in a traditional hang and then pull with straight arms by finishing in an inverted hang. As you can see, the front lever is being trained through a full range of motion. The shoulders begin in flexion and end in extension with the arms by the sides. You're teaching the body how to maintain the front lever body shape through a massive movement angle. This is tremendously potent for strength gain. When pulling with locked elbows, the scapula stabilizers are forced to work hard in order to keep the body alignment horizontal and assist with the pull. What's uniquely special about front lever pulls from a hang is the strong scapula setting which is required at the start. To generate enough force from the hang, the scapula must be depressed and retracted very violently. You can make the pull harder by briefly pausing in the bottom position in the hang every single rep. These are humblingly hard, no stored energy is released and full strength is required. Another superior training method for dynamic front levers are eccentrics. From the top down, the front lever muscles are lengthening as they create tension. These are extremely powerful because perfect technique can be used while working the front lever pattern through a full range of motion. Remember, multiple rep sets are much more effective for strength gain than trying to struggle through singles. Choose your intensity wisely. Because we're stronger during the negative phase of any exercise, using harder front lever progressions is definitely possible with eccentrics. Ice cream makers are a classic example of trying to do everything at once, combining bent arm and straight arm training. If you want to improve bent arm, do it in isolation and choose exercises which actually work. The bodyweight row is incredible for building horizontal pulling strength. We're training all the muscles required to extend, retract and depress the shoulders. We're also improving rigid body alignment in the exact same position relative to gravity, horizontal. Rows benefit the most from a moderate rep range. For example, eight to 15 reps is a good zone to progress with. The reason for this is due to the nature of the exercise. As fatigue sets in, reaching full range of motion at the top becomes very demanding. The name of the calisthenics game is progressive overload. Therefore, choose an intensity which is honest and permits ample range of motion for sets across. You might be wondering, what about front lever ropes? Well, when it comes to exercise, there's never any right or wrong. It really just depends on the context. 
At Fitness FAQs, we believe in being realistic and also sustainable. The problem with doing them in a front lever is we're often restricted to regressions and really low rep range due to the difficulty. In all honesty, form tends to get sloppy pretty quickly and long-term progress, especially with this move, is frustratingly slow. It's just not feasible to get an efficient training stimulus from front lever rows for most people. This is a problem that is rampant in the calisthenics community and it's something that most of us struggle with. Unless you've got a high level of front lever strength already, front lever rows aren't the best way to improve at front levers. Generic horizontal pulling is far superior as long-term progressive overload is much more realistic and sustainable. There are countless ways to increase difficulty of rows over time. External resistance is preferred because it's simple and also objective. When doing bodyweight rows for front lever training, use an identical width of grip for the greatest transferability and application of the specificity principle. Concerning vertical pulling, we're not gonna fluff around with ice cream makers. If we're gonna pull, we're gonna pull for real. Many people have developed serious front lever strength by simply improving at their pull-ups. Pull-ups complete the bent arm training picture by working shoulder extension, retraction, and depression in a vertical pulling pattern. Pull-ups improve size in all the major muscles involved in front levers, such as the lats, the rhomboids, the traps, the long head of triceps, etc. Heavy, low rep pull-up sets are an absolute amazing accessory for front lever gains. For best strength transfer, be sure to use a pronated grip because that's what's used in a front lever. Here's one sentence to summarize today's video. Separating bent arm and straight arm training is way more effective than trying to combine both into one exercise.